<laughs> there you go. All right, it's the only thing so far, technically, for us anyway, that we can find wrong with the Jeep is the tranny. So what are we gonna do? Swap the tranny. Not, nothing to it, right? Uh, sure. All right. According now, to the YouTube videos, at least. Now we got some new goodies. We went on a tranny jack. Harbor Freight fucking tool binge. Oh, that's gonna be nice. Make it easier. This though, low profile, oh, high lift. That means it might actually fit under my car when I'm done with it. Excellent. Let's get that bitch out of there. Heavy. Yeah. I'm not that. <laughs> you don't want. I just wanted to feel it. All right, and then uh, yeah, we're gonna swap the tranny in this fucking monster, the uh, NV 3500 back there. Nice. Say right. again. It's about a four hundred dollar morning. All right. I think. Uh, yeah, I think that should do it. Here we go. Oh, Pretty socks. Sure. socks don't know. We don't need those. Oh, I do. <laughs> not for not for a training swap. Well, I just need them. So yeah, that should do it. I think we got it. How to remove a stuck bolt. Hello. Hello. Yes. Weld in a bolt onto the bolt. Bolt it. What the fuck? That's huh? gotta be that 18. Probably. So the initial bolt broke. All right. So I welded a nut onto where the bolt broke. And the benefit of a nut, not only because at this point you've already heated the bolt to the point where the heat has actually pulled the PB blaster, if you've sprayed it with any penetrant oil, the heat will actually draw the PB up in here and break all this loose. So the benefit of that, going to a nut next, is that you have this kind of broken off stud from where the bolt broke because the heat, I guess, tempered this. And then when we went to turn it, it just snapped and it left a little stud on here, which was cool because then I slid the nut down over that stud, tacked a few fat tacks around it, and then starting at the bottom of the hole, put your nozzle all the way inside there. When you start trying to fill the hole from the inside out, the heat really is what does it. But then when you let it cool down enough to where it's not sizzling, start torquing on it, and man, it takes it right out. Ah, fuck. The starter is out, which kind of helps hold the tranny on. The skid plate is out, so the tranny's kind of hanging. Rear drive shaft out. Front drive shaft is next. And then, uh, we start doing the like the shift linkages and the uh, the cables and stuff. All right. So uh, yeah, I got the uh, tranny out, transfer case apart, skid plate off. Worst was coming down. Sweet. All right. Transmission's in. Uh, bolt it up. Now we gotta put everything back together. Yeah, if your transmission mount looks like that, I think it's due for replacement. <laughs> Rear drive shaft going in, and then uh, skid plate, skid plate, and fill it. Yep. And then we're done. Hopefully. Yes. Alright, 
it's uh, now the uh, moment of truth. Go ahead, take it around the block. See if second gear works. So yeah, nothing really to it, Fuck huh? Yeah. <laughs> plan to work, works plan. That's good. Ow. All right.